Hi friends, just uh, today we are going to start a new IoT based project. Uh, now you can see the, our circuit diagram here. This is the basic circuit diagram. So when uh, D0, D1 and D2, this is the digital output we are connected to the LED and the resistance and the ground is also connected for the ESP8266 board, base board that is Nord MCU. It's a very nice board Nord MCU. You can check before that uh, if you are not familiar with the Nord MCU, you can check my previous video. Nord MCU here D0, D1 and the D2. This is three pins we are using on just to uh, on and off LED. This is the Nord MCU device. Nord MCU it's itself uh, we attach with the ESP device. This is a D0, D1 and D2. These three legs we will use. This is very uh, a simple device because the ESP8266 is already connected with this one. Now we com uh, come to the Blink application. This is a application that is totally based on uh, the cloud-based programming. And uh, this application you can download to your mobile. The so first, what you have to do, download this app and install in any Android or iPhone that is available in the Blink server or Blink, or Blink uh, website. Then uh, once you uh, download this this one, then what uh, happen? Uh, you have to register your with your mobile. Then one API key will generate and that will be sent it to your mail ID. Okay, so this API key is very important for your project. This uh, and uh, you have to select this API key and you have to store this API key for your near uh, just upcoming projects. And that is very, very important. So uh, now better comes to the uh, websites and my computers, it will be uh, very easier for you to understand. Uh, uh, just uh, how we can uh, download so now I open already the blink cloud you can see the home now here in home you will find uh, for the blink uh, this is the blink website here you will find uh, what you will find uh, here you will find how to download and uh, all these things are written the simple things are written over here so here you can use for the um, app store and Google Play service also you can all get all these things uh, this type of uh, and here some device are there uh, that you can use uh, that blink already promote that one the spank fun that you can use is a very good one and uh, the partner uh, devices are there in the arduino and other samsung texas instruments uh, all these are there but i am using here arduino many things are there that many uh, iot based projects are there just uh, now we program to then best uh, go for the getting started here is the getting started you will find uh, basically the blink for arduino and blink for ios those who are using android mobile for they can use the blink for android and uh, those who are uh, using iphone they can download here from the iphone that uh, you can do it from here no problem then uh, once you download I, as i already told that a one author token will be generated and that author token comes to your email id this is very very important that token that means the api key that uh, api key you have to store uh, somewhere else because this is very very important now once uh, you finish this one then uh, download the blink library this is library is very important this library you have to install in the arduino and otherwise this blink it will not work so remember you have to install this one in arduino for the blink library Rest of the things are okay. This is very simple. Nothing is there. Then we have to go for the open Blink sketch code builder. This is very uh, important. Uh, they are giving this sketch code code builder. Uh, now where you know no need to go for any sort of programming. Automatically it will gives you the program. So just open this uh, sketch programming, and uh, there what you will get. Um, you have to select the board. Here and uh, for my program we are using the Nord MCU. So you will select Nord MCU and uh, we are using the our home Wi-Fi. So use ESP8266 Wi-Fi. Then this is very, very important. We have to go for the author token as I already, I think so you are all uh, getting this one. Uh, author token will be different for the different uh, user. So entirely different for the different project and the user. So you will get the author token. I think so that already came to my Gmail ID. So yes, it's came. Just open this one. 
and uh, once I open the first author token is written about there's a big number is a, a different code uh, that code is totally different for the different project so you have to copy this one and uh, then you have to paste here the author token once you paste the author token and the programming the downs you can see, uh, see that the programming is written the blink uh, author token then automatically the program make ready now what you have to do just uh, uh, i copy the program simply and um, and here uh, another thing is also important character ssid and, uh, and character password this is a your password and your uh, ssid that you have to mention here your home uh, um, wi-fi name and the, your password that you have to mention here but uh, you can't mention here just you have to copy this one and you have to store this one in and uh, arduino so just i copy now i open the, uh, just to save this one to the my iot home automation uh, this the link and you can get it in my uh, download button uh, is given already in youtube uh, from there uh, you can download it no problem or otherwise you can directly get your program this is also possible uh, with the blink uh, open sketch so that is very important but uh, though i am giving and uh, giving you in my youtube so no need to worry you can take it from the youtube also no problem now once it is uh, finished uh, just uh, remember huh, yeah, one thing uh, always you remember this uh, your login and password this is very important for this program without this program it will not work and uh, this device will work only in your home only or if you take in your another house then their uh, internet login and password you have to install now just i'm going to open my arduino okay so arduino my program already open i already uh, paste this one then uh, this program nothing is there just i already paste is the author token is also there but the uh, login and password i have to enter so i entered the ssid the name of my uh, wi-fi but i will not show you the password <laughs> just uh, this is for the security purpose uh, and that's it just to open this one you will get the login and passwords uh, um, here uh, i am using this dlink dir615 so i will use this uh, name the wi-fi name so just i try to write this one here now just uh, you have to check uh, whether uh, i already and, and uh, write this uh, login the password i am not showing uh, just you have to check uh, now uh, through the tools uh, whether the your port is already selected or not this is very very important so you have to check whether your port is uh, inserted here or not just uh, i going to uh, make this program compilation whether the compilation is going on or not i think the compilation is perfect there is no issue because it's a very simple program now the password so you have to change i'm going to change my password and i going to upload the program uh, in my device so I, i'm not going to show you the password whatever my the password um, just it's showing no problem because <laughs> i am staying in a different place no problem uh, so just upload upload means uh, before uploading you have to check uh, the port the port is there whether the port is uh, showing not MCU selected port huh? this is important once you enter the your uh, not MCU to usb drive automatically the port uh, it will come and uh, you can uh, select this one now what we will do basically uh, just uh, we going to install uh, this blink uh, basically it's already installed in my uh, mobile so i am not uh, showing all these things so just uh, i going to show you how to program write the name project name you have to write the project name here so right here home automation home 
automation now what you have to do basically uh, you have to show here the choose device so for the choose device uh, we will uh, select here Nord MCU my favorite device Nord MCU okay and the connection obviously it's a Wi-Fi connection so now I'll just create so here you will find the uh, authentication tokens uh, going to my uh, just uh, mail ID just make it okay and that uh, went to my mail ID so now what I will do basically will use here uh, for a small project uh, with the LED so that uh, it will be available for um, any sort of project uh, if we can make one LED or two LED on and off with the help of this app uh, through anywhere then uh, this LED we can convert it to the relay device and automatically we can make this circuit on and off okay so just to go for the new one um, my actually my power is very less here so just I will use the two button, button number one and then again button number two we can again make the third button button number three so just uh, we have to we have to rearrange the button okay so we just uh, use this three button to on and off three led that means any fan and light we can on and off with this uh, circuit so, so just we go for the button one button number one now here we have to mention on the pin we are using we are using button uh, so here we write uh, room number one room one it's okay now pin zero and uh, pin the pin number we have to select we can select uh, pin number zero no problem so this is a pin number zero and uh, okay now it's finished uh, it is not a push button it's a switch button so make it in switch this make make sure huh? make it in a switch so just go back so you can see that uh, here the d0 came and the room number one then go for the second one again room number two room number two then uh, pin number pin number already d0 is used you can see here the certain d0 is used so you can give for the d1 we make a d1 and obviously it's a switch now it's finished now let's go for the bottom three you can take the room number three pin you can see the two d1 d0 and d1 is used so d3 we can use and we have to make it as a switch okay finish so from here to the sides my project is finished now we have to go for the directly to the circuits uh, through which uh, we have to upload the program okay so let's go to the circuit So okay this is my hardware you can check it's very easy the programming is already uploaded and this is uh, in my mobile so the blink is uh, already installed here so just open this one blink is now it is connected fully now it is connected uh, it's showing the red color I think uh, some problem is there maybe uh, huh, now it is connected it's a red gone and it's connected so I just going to open the light switch on the light oh no it's good it's open off off on again on off on again on off it's beautiful I will make the all the light on yes it's on off 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 so uh, this is basically uh, now this mobiles uh, uh, is connected the mobile it may be anywhere anywhere but uh, your circuit this circuit and uh, it will be in your house and that will be connected so with the uh, home internet connection 
so with this application you can connect to your fan ac fridge everything so you can on and off and uh, this is called the iot internet don't forget to subscribe and put the bell icon so that the new video comes to you first thank you for watching